Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you are having a fantastic day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Parker Nierenstein and this is Vehicle Virgins. If you missed my last video, I did a full review on the new Rolls-Royce Cullinan. This thing is absolutely epic on-road and off-road. But there's so much to it, I thought I would make a breakdown video of five of its most insane features. One of which is behind me now, referred to as the viewing suite. So let's say you've taken your Cullinan off-road out to a ranch and you want to sip some champagne and not sit on the ground. Well, because it's a Rolls Royce, of course, we have these beautiful fold out leather seats that you can sit on just like this. Now, this entire module here is actually quite customizable. As with everything in Rolls Royce, it's very bespoke. So owners have actually built much different things in the back of the rolls than just event seats. Now we haven't seen any of those yet, but I'm very interested to see what some of the owners have done. Is this useful? I think if you actually use the Rolls Royce Cullinan for what its true purpose is, that means taking it as a family vehicle, taking it to soccer practice, taking it to the grocery store, but also being able to travel on the off road as we did yesterday, going up a ski slope, going down a ski slope, doesn't matter, it's capable everywhere, and you can actually sit here in nature next to Roosevelt, this beautiful horse, and just relax. Another insane feature of the Rolls-Royce Cullinan is how practical it truly is, and how many different layout and options that are given. So there are two different layouts We've got this bench seat style here, so if you wanna take the kids or you wanna have three full-size adults in the back, you can just hop in here and we've got a third middle seat. Then there is another layout, these beautiful captain's chairs, which I drove in uh, in the last video with this marvelous center console and you feel like it's a bit higher level of opulence but a bit less useful if you want more people involved. Personally, for me, since I don't have a family, I would go with the captain's chair layout, but I definitely see the reason behind this one as well. As with most SUVs, we have a nice tailgate. Now this one is actually in two pieces, so let's go ahead and open up the top there. And the rear one actually folds down as well, just like that. But what's really nice is not only is this a massive amount of space for storage, you can also fold down the rear seats. And there's a very special feature that I haven't seen in any car that I'd like to show you. So for one, you can fold down the seats by the click of a button right here. So for the right seat, we'll allow that to fold down just like that. And for the other seat, we can fold it down just like this. I love that everything is controlled with a simple button. So right here you can see that there's a difference between this plane and the plane of the seats. Now that's fine, but what happens if you want to move skis in there to go skiing? Well, they're gonna get jammed in there. You've gotta lift them up. That would be so much effort. Instead, you can click this button and that raises up to make it flush. That is epic. The next incredible feature of the Rolls-Royce Cullinan has to do with its backup and surround view cameras. Now, nowadays, a lot of backup cameras are pretty decent. They've got tracking lines for when you move the steering wheel, but there's a couple different things that the Cullinan has that I nearly have never seen. So for one, check out these lines here. When I turn the steering wheel, the camera actually pans physically along with the wheels so you really can see fully around you. Now here on the screen you'll also notice an aerial view of the Cullinan with two Cullinans next to it but there are door openings. Now the doors are closed right now. This is to let you know that hey you can fully open the doors without hitting any other car. Now the screens also automatically adjust so if you're driving quickly and all of a sudden there's an obstacle on the side of the road the screen will all of a sudden point to a new angle so you can see the nearest object. If you're off-roading and it's really through a lot of bumps, the screen will tilt downwards so that you can see the front of the car from an aerial view to make sure you're not running into any rocks. Check this out. So there's a list of cameras here. If we put it up to auto, that will choose for you which angle that it thinks you need best. And then if you get close to something, it'll change it. But you can also go through different angles. So here's a rear quarter panel version. Here is, look at that. You fully see the car itself. And let's see, look at this. That is ridiculous. 
This is actually showing real life. Those are horses that are just sitting over there and people, and it's showing like a 3D recreation. Look, the horse's tail is moving of the actual Cullinan. And if you were off-roading and you were curious what's behind you, what's in front of you, this is wicked. And if you're just parking or going to the mall, this is helpful as well. It's unbelievable the level of technology that's put just into the camera alone, let alone the rest of the vehicle. We're behind the wheel of the Cullinan now, and in my previous review, we actually took it severely off-roading, talked about the on and off-road driving experience, which you'll have to check that out to find out about it, but I wanted to talk more about some of the elements in the interior, mainly spaciousness and openness. So we are in this massive shell, this incredible cocoon of luxury and safety, but at the same time, you don't feel trapped in any way, shape, or form. So my headroom, I mean, I, I have had this much headroom in really any car. The width, I'm so far away from my passenger, yet we could still hold hands if we wanted to. We probably don't want to do that right now. This is super awkward. And the space and size of the windows, so you can see out into this beautiful scenery, is just tremendous. So, speaking of another insane feature of the Rolls-Royce Cullinan, that would be its on-road and off-road driving capabilities. Now, I'm gonna mostly talk about its off-road driving capabilities, but I just went through a twisty section and I had so much fun that I figured I had to discuss it. So this car not only has adaptive suspension with air shocks, it also has satellite-aided suspension and gearbox setup, so the satellite is actually communicating with the car so it knows if there's going to be a sharp turn up ahead. Now when you're pointed in a straight line, it's got that beautiful magic ride feel where it just rides so comfortably, almost so comfortably that it's disconcerting that you think you can actually go around a turn quickly, but it turns out with the rear wheel steering with the adjustable dampers, it goes around corners extraordinarily well. Then you pop it into off-road mode. There is one button on this car that completely transforms it. A lot of vehicles like a Raptor or any of the Range Rovers have many different modes. Now, it's not true that it only has one mode. It has a couple different variances of the traction control, but all you have to do to activate that is this one off-road button. There's also hill descent control that you can control the speed of the car based on the cruise control setting here. So if you take your foot off the gas and off the brake, you can set it to three miles an hour going down a really steep incline, then you can go up to five. Let's say you're going a little bit too fast. If you step on the brake, it'll slow the car down and reset the hill descent control to whatever speed you achieved with the brake pedal. Pretty phenomenal. Then on the off-road, we're about to hit some pretty cool off-road sections. I'll talk more about it there. So, the road is about to change, so we're gonna click the off-road button. Now, as you can see, there's three different settings here for off-road plus DSC on, off-road plus traction, and off-road plus a DSC off. We'll leave it on for now, but the car has raised a little bit off the ground, the dampers have stiffened a bit, and well, Rolls-Royce figures out the rest of it for you. But you can really tell on the off-road how incredible it truly is. It rides over bumps just like it rides over bumps on the road. And then with the rear wheel steering, it just floats around corners effortlessly with the most limited body roll of any SUV I've driven. Now, it's competitors like the Urus and the Bentayga. Well, I haven't driven the Urus, I have driven the Bentayga, I have driven Q7s, I have driven X5 and X6Ms, and 
we'll leave the BMW out of this because it's a little bit in a different class, but the level of body roll and dive and pitch in the Bentayga compared to this is just a whole nother level of, well, lack of refinement. Well guys, there are five insane features of the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. The off-road is getting a little bit more intense, which means I'll probably turn the camera off and focus so nothing bad happens, but it won't because the Cullinan is so capable. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video.